All right, hear me out. So, <clears throat> Musk, Atlas shrugged. There's a book called Atlas. First of all, my name's Keith. What up? Welcome to the channel. Man of letters, knowledge, information, and hopefully a bit of entertainment. What? What? Now, this is just ramblings. I was meditating out here in my little corn patch. And the thought came to me. It's come to me before. That what if Elon Musk is actually a sort of character out of Atlas Shrugged. So Atlas Shrugged is this book, gets a lot of criticism, right, for, in some cases, rightly so. Um, it gets criticism, but you should all read it. So here's what happens. You guys ever heard John Galt? I've made the joke on the channel before, John Galt. So John Galt is, in the book, something bad would happen and people would say, hey, who? why would you bad things happen on the planet? And the response would be, why, who, like, there's no answer to that. Who is John Galt? That's, that's the joke. Well, spoiler alert, if you're not going to read the book, if you are, turn the, I would say, read the fucking book. Please read it, even if I gave you the spoiler alert. It's long, but you'll like it. John Gall turns out to be a real person. And what he's doing is he's going around the world convincing the leaders of industry to stop producing. Here's why. Imagine, it, 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 it's weird because... I, it was written about a hundred years ago, but today it seems to be super relevant. So John Galt is this mastermind and the politicians like today, the leaders of industry receive a lot of criticism. Manufacturers of steel, um, miners of oil and coal, the producers, the, the people who produce in the world are targeted and the more you produce the more you're targeted um, the politicians are the ones leading the charge the politicians convince the population that the ones who produce are bad and that the ones who produce need to either stop producing so much or redistribute their wealth what they've produced um, it's way oversimplified which is why the criticism is there in the first place again to a degree rightly so but remember how last week I was talking about I was making an argument that capitalism is closer to nature. Oh, I was wrong. Or closer to nature than, say, say, socialism. I was wrong. I believe that socialism and capitalism are two, are, are two opposing ends of nature. They're two polar opposites, but both necessary. For example, hear me out. Hear, hear, li listen up. I'm, I'll try to make this more interesting. I know it can, the information can be, like, dry sometimes. Um... I'm like, maybe fucking, I'll come, maybe I'll shave my beard and not wear a shirt. Maybe that'll get people's attention. Like, what can I fucking do to get people's attention on, like, these interesting topics? So bear with me. So, so uh, the criticism that I was making of socialism was um, that people hate that resources tend to end up in a small percentage of the population. Um, but that happens in nature with the tree. 99% of the mass in a, in a rainforest is is taken up by one species of tree, for example. And that happens everywhere. But socialism is just as real too. Say you have a deer population. There's lots of food. So since there's lots of food, you can support a lot of deer. But the more deer you get, the less food there is. So that lots of deer start eating the food. Now there's a little bit of food. Now the deer die because there's not enough food to eat. So there will always be limiting factors within an ecosystem that are going to curve the growth of a population. Another example, there's more deer, that means there's more food for the mountain lions. So the mountain lion population grows. But when the mountain lion population grows, now they're killing too many deer. Now the deer population is down, there's no food for the mountain lions. Now the mountain lions start dying of starvation because there's not enough food. There's always gonna be balances. And that's the argument for socialism. That's why I had to change up my argument and say, well, actually socialism is right on par with the natural world too. It's a, the people say, hey, you've got way too much fucking resources. So you curve those resources to redistribute it throughout the population. But <clears throat> it doesn't matter. <sighs> well, it does. I shouldn't say it doesn't matter. What's important to note is that what what's important to note is that 
the people who are in charge are one corrupt and they're leading the masses in the wrong direction knowingly through the media so we have media which is the goddess of illusion right they're not even fucking like they're, they're not even pissing on you with the courtesy of calling it rain they're saying hey we're we're gonna name the movies and the magazines and the books and the tele and the television and the news we're gonna call it media the goddess of illusion we're gonna uh, the newscast is a spell cast. Do you ca what else do you cast? A fucking spell, a fishing line that you reel someone in with, or, or, or a broadcast. You're broadly casting your spells and your lines to reel people in with. You know. So back to Elon Musk. <clears throat> back to John Galt. So in Atlas Shrugged, John Galt realizes that the people aren't inherently fools it's just that they've allowed themselves to become duped by the people in charge a system you put shit in you're gonna get shit out All right so capitalism will fail as long as the people are making ridiculous decisions socialism will fail as long as people keep making ridiculous decisions the the problem with with <clears throat> the population is that we always want to fucking point the finger at the politician we always we want to point the finger at you know the political system you want to point the finger at the economic system and it's like look you keep making dumbass decisions like fucking peterson said if you can't make your own goddamn bedroom if you can't make your own bed every morning how do you ex how do you expect to make good decisions on the state of the world people say oh i would have done it better oh you just didn't do it right oh no this is how you do it and then you look at their house their house is in fucking ruin it's chaos their car fucking brakes are squealing they won't get their brakes fixed they're truck's dirty as hell they won't get a car wash their backyard looks like shit they try to fucking grow corn they they they're they have habits for two weeks and then they just decide to stop watering things and like oh i can't grow anything i was like well did you water it oh well, kind of like maybe a week you know what i mean like people don't want to take the blame for stuff so here comes elon musk and when i hear him talk when i see his eyes when i see his fluctuation and when i see his body posture it's not, it's almost, it's not like he's being insincere. It's like, it's like he's a thousand steps ahead of everyone and doesn't give a shit, but also doesn't care to let people in on the secret. It's almost like he knows that people have been caught up in this hypnotic rhythm that we talk about all the time, Napoleon Hill. He knows that the population is caught up in the hypnotic rhythm of things. And so what if he's doing the same thing that John Galt and Atlas Shrugged is doing? What if he's building the people up, telling them what they want to hear just so that he can get what he wants done? So he can go to Mars, so he can like Dogecoin and Tesla. Like in te Elon Musk rips into Nikola Tesla and praises Edison. What the fuck is up with that? Like that's got... He's an, he, he, Musk is an enigma. And an enigma is something that you can't, it's like a puzzle or a maze. It's something that you can't quite figure out. He, he, here he is, he talks about putting humanity on Mars and he loves technology and he likes to invent things, but he criticizes the, one of the greatest inventors of all time. The man who invented and discovered wireless electricity. Who, who, that's a fact, you can look that up. Who, who, who's, whose inventions, half of which we still use today. And he praises Edison, who didn't even invent things. And he didn't invent the light bulb. A black man from the 1800s invented the light bulb. He says he failed a thousand times before he invented something. Well, I didn't fail a thousand times. I learned a thousand times how to not do something. Nikola Tesla never failed at all because he figured. He said, Nikola Tesla said, I figured everything out of my head first. I was a, I was able to make the mistakes in my head so that when they came into the world, they were damn near complete. That's why he had hundreds of inventions that we still use. The remote control that we still use today. Microwave. All kinds of shit. So, what the hell is going on with Musk? Um, oh, the baby just woke up. <laughs> um... Oh man, it's, it's, <clears throat> I don't trust him. I, I don't trust Musk. Um, to be fair, I don't trust anybody. <laughs> I don't trust most people. Um, 
especially celebrities. Like the other day I was watching, my girl was watching something. Um, it was this black lady that was super African dot with bright colors and like had the whole show of her Africanness and like the talk and the way she moved. It was, it was, it was on the point of being gimmicky. And she was with Jada Smith and her Jada Smith's daughter and the mom, I think. And it was like, I, I, I turned it off immediately. I didn't even pay any mind to it. I didn't turn it off. I just was like, because I don't trust celebrities. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't trust celebrities. I don't trust Will Smith. I don't trust Jada. I don't trust their kids. I don't fucking, I don't care if they're white or black. I don't care if they're from Africa. I don't care if they had slave ancestors. I don't care if they're Jamaican. I don't care if they're Filipinos. If someone is top percent echelon celebrity, I don't give a shit what they have to say. I don't, I, I know too much. I know that sounds slightly cocky, but I know, I know the inventions that have been made I, Tesla, for example, I know that such thing as wireless electricity was made over a hundred years ago. For if there's a picture, there's a picture of Elon Musk in a field holding a light bulb in his hand and the light bulb is lit and it's not attached to anything. He had invented wireless electricity that was powered by, by static energy, the energy, the latent energy that's in the atmosphere. No coal, no falling water, no burning anything, no gasoline, um, no, no solar panels, no wind turbines. And so you have these, and everyone knows, and Musk knows that, which is why I'm like, how the fuck can you give criticism to Tesla when he invented wireless electricity? Unless you're full of shit, or unless you know that and you don't care, or, or, you do care, but you're not allowed to say anything. You know what I mean? And so it, it doesn't matter which option of those it was. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. It's just speculation on my part, of course. But I, I do. I can read. I can read. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Shit keeps me up at night, man. Um, anywho, thanks for chatting. Thanks for chilling with us, you guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. All right, thanks. If you made it this far in the video, might as well subscribe. I don't know if you're new or not, but feel free to subscribe. Um, oh, the Atlas, my love. He's so sad. Atlas. All right, I gotta go get my baby. See you guys later. Peace out.